Okay, so we'll get going now. It's a couple of folks might be walking in. So um, I wanted to just have a quick look at uh, just sort of group look at everybody's uh, dra initial draft um, stabs at their analyses and uh, just get some feedback from everybody. And, um, and we're pointing out that these guys are due on Wednesday, right? So you still have time to work on them, but time is disappearing. Um, when I say they're due, what I mean is it needs, they need to be uploaded on the, to the Coastal Collaboratory website and whatever your appropriate, uh, you know, pollution, climate change, you know, uh, whatever, your, whatever your topic is, right? So um, a few folks, uh, because of uh, illness or whatever, did not make our lab this week. Everybody should, by the end of today, everybody should have gone into this practice page here and gone in and, ed and added in their name and, and a, a test you know, um, sentence and upload a picture, make sure everybody can cap is capable of doing that, right? Oh, somebody made a farting cow. Great, thanks, Todd. Great. Raising the tone. Is he here? He's not even here. Right, great, thanks, dude. Um, anyway, so, uh, so now not everybody has to log in and to, to do it with your group. You just need a, you, you could do it as a group, which would be great, but Someone from your group needs to be the designated, uh, if, if you're not gonna do it as a group, somebody needs to be the designated uploader, pacer, inner person, right? And, so you guys type in coastalwiki.pyrolab.org slash, it's on the lab handout, slash wp-admin slash, Philip. Yeah, so it, uh, yeah, it might not work to copy the entire thing, but yeah, copy each section. So right, if we go and if we look at um, if we look at these guys, right, it's all set up. If we get pollution people, right, it's all set up with the. Or sorry, if we look at you have to look go buried, but if we look at if we get to the right level, you know, it says climate change by blah 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 introduction. You can paste in the introduction. The questions can be pasted in the questions. So um, yeah, it's set up that you should, I wouldn't just copy 100% of the block text. I would copy like this section and paste that in, this section, paste it in. Um, you may have some challenges when it comes to pasting in, for example, your plotly figure, right? It's best to put in a dynamic figure. And I can, I can show you guys how to do that uh, in a little bit, but um, you essentially grab the iframe text and you paste it in. Um, so if, that, if, if you're wondering about that, it doesn't make sense in a little bit, once we, we get going, I'll, I'll do a demo for you guys. But, but we wanna use the power of our online document. So that includes not just hyperlinks, but all of the dynamic displays as much as we can do. Um, so I just wanted to uh, uh, point out an example for you guys. So for example, here is um, uh, something that we're building towards. This isn't a perfect one by any means, but um, uh, so if you guys are putting those in the pile, I was gonna come around and get them. If you guys are putting them in the pile, that's fine. Just make sure your name is on the top of the pile so I, when I go through and check off and make sure that I have them in, uh, that, that I can easily tell whose, whose pile is, uh, belongs to who. Um, anyway, so, so, this is, I would say, not a, not a great example, but it, it's, it's, I would say this looks to be more like a draft. But right, so they have all these statements in a coastal area, fishing, da, 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 da. They have some references here, right? They're using the same reference, which isn't great, right? You guys are in groups of people. Almost everybody's in a group. Who's not in a group? Tara, you, you by yourself? Or, oh, I see. She has a partner that's being lame is what she's trying to be polite and say that, right? So the so most of you guys, though, are in groups of several folks, right? So... This is not too tall a task for you to run down some references about whatever your stressor is, right? So the notion of, of having one reference in your introduction, that ain't happening, right? Impress me, impress me. So, so I like the fact that these guys have a, have a link in there, but it shouldn't just be necessarily the same link. Is, is it technically wrong? No, but it's way, way better if you have multiple references showing scholarly understanding of whatever your particular uh, question is or topic is. Cool? And as we scroll down here, uh, these guys have an example of, um, and this, they're more complicated charts down here, but this is an example of a, um, a, dynamic, a dynamic chart, right? So if, if we 
since this is in draft form, I'm not sure it's going to work. But as we, right, so as I, as I shrink the size, it's going to change around. And because, because it's in draft view, it doesn't look as pretty as it normally looks when it's launched. But, right, that's why we want to ideally do something like an iframe, an embedded figure, as opposed to just simply making a PDF or JPEG and embedding the image. It's way better to have it be dynamic. So that if somebody looks at your page on an iPhone or a small screen, versus if they have a big screen, it'll be displayed at the best resolution from whatever that th thing is, as opposed to just a small shrunken down version of the desktop, ver the desktop version. And then of course, if we go on the bottom, they have references, right? So they have the, the reference and then they put a link to the reference. So all that stuff is good. Cool? Question about that? So by Wednesday, what I mean is submitted means you have your stuff pasted into the respective tab in our collaboratory Coastal Wiki webpage. Yes? 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 Yeah. Okay, good. All right, okay. So next I just want to take a, let's just take a quick spin around some of the stuff you guys have done. Uh, where is that? Okay. So uh, we'll start with, the, who's our over-harvesting group? Tessa. Is it just you? Me as well. Okay. So everybody have eyes up here. So this is our, this is our planning document. So when you guys go to po paste it in, just to be completely clear, um, you'll have to upload this picture again, right? You can't just copy the picture and paste it. You guys know that. You have to go to the, uh, menu, the uh, media menu, upload it. So, okay. And the, no, no, I know, but I just, just, so, just so we're clear, because you guys are asking about, do we just grab and paste? So, um, and I'm not attacking anybody here, just want to make sure we're all on the same page. I see. You're trying to manipulate me as I'm speaking. Uh -huh, I'm fine. I'm just going to hide you. Okay. So, so uh, same thing for the, for the um, caption. Recall that you do that within the, men, within the uh, media uh, window. There's a, wi there's a little sub, sub window that says caption. That's where you can put your caption in. And then it'll show up anytime you embed the image. Okay. And then obviously the red stuff was my instructions to you. So the red stuff, you would not copy that and, in, and insert that into the web page. So, the, so in this case, the black text is the stuff you're looking for. Now, what I believe what's going to happen, um, which is one of the reasons we use Google Docs, is if you select this and paste this in, the hyperlinks should come with it. So you shouldn't have to reinsert. You, who knows? Maybe you have a weird formatting program or something. Maybe you will have to. But for most of you, you shouldn't have to reinsert the hyperlink that you inserted into the text if you're copying it as a block of text. So, um, uh, okay, so actually, why don't you guys give, how about you guys give feedback to these guys? I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Great. Yeah, no, that's lame, that's lame. We wanna give constructive criticism, right? So we wanna give feedback, not because we're trying to make somebody feel bad or stupid or lame, we wanna give feedback so they make, it makes their product stronger, right? So just to be clear, any feedback, we're not picking on you, we're not saying you're stupid, this is a draft, we wanna make it a better version. So just simply saying it's great, in the hopes that they say yours is great, right? Way better to give these guys suggestions they can jot down and they can, they can do an, an impression of. So, yeah, so, yep, yeah, go, Matt. Yep, like Easter Island you could look up, or uh, middens uh, around fishing communities. So you can look in the Caribbean, you can look at American Samoa, there's a bunch of places. So, so you, can say, you, you can say an example is this, but we also know of, you know, so all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. Other, other suggestions, other feedback? Um, Isn't it your page? <laughs> Uh, generally speaking, probably better to put the reference wherever it came from, author and year. Yeah. I mean, I, I suppose there could be an example that would be working, but it'd be better to have it be the, the reference in, in parentheses. Yeah. Feedback. Hello, hello, hello. Feedback. Other feedback on the introduction? Oh. <laughs> He's like, don't call on me. This, this apparently means don't call on me. Okay. How about overview of, according to Mr. Question Mark or Ms. Question Mark, fisheries, blah, 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 produce, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
Needs to be more, needs to be longer, needs to be more in depth. Yes, you're correct. Good feedback. I like that. That's good. That's good. No links, right? Good. How many hypotheses should we have? One, two, three. No, I'm serious. I mean, I mean, you guys have a range of questions. So at least one. I wouldn't do more than two or three. I mean, I, we don't want to, this isn't, shouldn't be 17 million pages. I'm not trying to create a huge amount of work for you. I'm trying to get you guys to analyze. So some of you guys inherently have maybe a couple pretty easily built in ones. So, you know. A lot of questions you could use. And you of course. Yes, so to be clear, a hypothesis isn't necessarily tied with a question, right. right? So you might have a hypothesis that you could answer in a couple different ways with different questions. Indeed, one of the reasons that we have such a long survey that you guys bitch him on it, the long doctor, right? Is, is the fact that we're trying to ask things, in many cases, not every case, but in a lot of cases, different ways, right? So we in fisheries, we ask, have you heard about this type of approach? And then what about the creation of marine protected areas and another question, right? So you, you try to ask it different ways, different shapes, approach it a different direction and see, are they telling us a consistent story or are, people, are, are, are people's opinions or impressions uh, very strongly shaped by the phrasing of the question? In which case, we say, mm, maybe that's more of a sampling issue than really what they perceive issue, perhaps? So yeah, okay, cool. Um, Survey questions, we did this, a little bit of methodology, cool. Uh, you guys didn't say the questions yet? No, I'm gonna put in quotes. Okay, quotes. okay. And so uh, again, it's, it's a little bit up to you guys, but I would say when you do do things like a hypothesis or like a, a something like that, you can make a, the hypothesis a subheading, like the hypothesis one subheading. If you're doing a, an extensive quote, you potentially could use the quote option. There's an option in the format menu to set off text as a quote. You don't have to, but, but you're welcome to play with a little bit of that formatting to make it work for whatever your particular uh, text or your, rep or your um, argumentation is. You want the question verbatim, right? Uh, for this, yes, because again, people haven't necessarily seen it. Okay. So. Are we just, for the question section, are we providing like an overview of the survey as well? Uh, not a bad thing to do, but recall, um, Recall, recall if we go up to right here, this is an overview of the survey instrument. So this has details of it, this has like sort of the overall details, but it's certainly you guys could say, you know, uh, 1194 people responded to this question, that kind of thing, you know, so you could, you certainly add some stuff on, but you don't, you don't need to do a full description. You could do a one sentence description. You don't need to do a whole section on it. So that's why I put this up here so you guys can focus on the results section, the interpretation section. Cool. All right. Um, wait, where were we? Wait, where the heck were we? There we go. Okay. Um, okay, results. Oh, I was, so still work on that. Okay, cool. All right. A few references, need some more, but okay. You guys getting the idea? Any other feedback for these guys? No, I see you guys are super talkative. Okay. So let's look at our, wait, which is this, oil spill group? No, it doesn't look crazy. No, 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 that's okay. Everybody, everybody, everybody have a quick look. Everybody, everybody take a, a scan, either up here on the screen or you guys can open it up yourself. No, 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 don't explain. Don't explain. No, 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 no scabbling. No scabbling, Mr. Cavini. No scabbling. Let's everybody read it. No hyperlink. True. Oh, now it's get back time. Oh, I went first. So I'm going to give everybody the thing. Okay, good. So hyperlinks will be good. Or are needed, I should say. Yeah? Say again? Uh, you mean like in terms of formatting? Yeah. Okay, possibly. Yeah. So maybe, so obviously that would be one that would be easy just to, to copy copy this text and then and then change the heading but okay good yeah they don't have years in their citation okay good so remember it's author year even if it's from a generic source or, or something that you can't tell the actual individual author something from the epa it should be epa 2017. if there truly is no date i would be i would be pretty skeptical of using that as a reference but if there truly is no date that would be epa 
ND for no date. And then when you enter it, it's entered as, you know, the author is Environmental Protection Agency, date is no date, and then it's the title and everything else. So everything has an author, everything has a date. Uh, other feedback for these guys? Here's, here's their sources. Feedback, feedback, feedback. <laughs> okay. So that was all for the intro? All those graphs, all that? Uh, I guess so, yeah. It seems like a lot, a lot for an intro. I don't think it seems a lot like a lot. One paragraph. <laughs> Hold on, relax. One paragraph, two paragraph. Yeah, but then this is that. Graph, I think it's the confusing part, though, is that they put the sources right after the introduction. So I would say lengthwise, that does not seem too, too short for me, for teams of two, three, four people. That does not seem, two paragraphs does not seem like a lot. A paragraph, just to say a paragraph, that doesn't mean two, three sentences, right? Again, it shouldn't be 17 pages long, but I think that's a reasonable I length. Like, I don't mean the paragraph. I mean, like, all the information after the first two paragraphs, is that all part of the intro? Is that included? I suspect there's going to be some formatting so they're going to play around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when it's done, right now it's functional. That too is <laughs> wow, that's a good step one to two. All right, it's a big step. I like that. Aggressive. Sweet. Okay, and then uh, we have some current situation. In this case, these guys have two hypotheses. Uh, the rel relevant questions, excuse me. Uh, the results. And so I presume this is draft stuff, so you guys are going to work up a, a way to... Present it. Don't worry, we're gonna make that okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, good. Any other feedback? Okay, let's look at our coastal erosion team. Coastal erosion team. Think about our picture. What's our picture? Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, coastal erosion, most obvious manifestation. Cool. Why don't you guys take a look at that for a sec? Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, good. So remember, just like everything, with the fifth largest economy in the world, reference, California is heavily reliant on, sh on the shipping industry, reference, and ports and infrastructure they use to move goods, reference, right? So all these statements that we don't, that you guys didn't, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad sentence, I'm just saying let's properly show the evidence for these statements, right? So generally speaking, you guys need to use way more references than in these drafts. And again, that's not because I'm saying references for the sake of references. I'm saying <coughs> let's show the supporting evidence for that statement. Um, if, like, let's say you had a sentence like that, but they got the information from the same source, do you just put the source of the other reference? You could, but it's way better to do the reference that that, refer the reference that reference got them from. No. So probably the one that said the evidence that California is the fifth largest economy in the world is probably not the same one that says we use ports a lot. There's probably an economic study that says that's just an economic study, right? And there's probably a study that talks about use of ports and harbors. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if it was the same source, like... If it was, you could put it at the end of the sentence, but it's not as strong. So again, every, every eye's up here, right? So what we're working on here, we're not just working on, I'm not, there's not some kind of mysterious kind of thing I really want you to do that I just don't want to tell you, right? I'm trying to get you guys to be better argumenters, right? Better, better at advocating your particular point of view. So what I'm telling you is if you read, if I, I think this is the case that we would all agree upon. If I went up here and I said, here's a statement with three components. Each of those components had an individual um, reputable source. That to me strikes me as more, that person is more knowledgeable, more understanding of the situation uh, relative to uh, the statement that just there's, there's one, one reference at the end of it, right? Does that make the, the statement with one reference at the end wrong? No. 
but it's not as strong. So I want you guys to be strong arguers of whatever your point is, right? We want to be good advocates for the truth. We want to be good advocates for, for reasoned, um, well-studied management. And so that's what we're working on, right? And in this case, it's not just an answer you guys are doing. You have several of you guys, so you could parse it out. Hey, you take care of that section or that first paragraph. I'll take care of this. So it's not a heavy lift, right? You guys still have another five days to, to work on this, right? Cool. Other feedback for these guys? So you're talking about an example. That's cool. Uh, you know, so this, in this case, something like erosion. I said you guys have to have at least one image at the top. This, this, this to me, for example, screams at an example of something that might be really easy to throw some, some images in there that might make it, right, make it more efficacious. So do you have to do photos or images or what? No. But this one, which is a physical process, that's, that's probably easy to show with a picture or a few pictures. So I would, I would, in situations like that, I would say, hey, why don't you guys add another picture, right? You can always add to what I'm talking about. I just, I just gave you the minimum that I wanted you guys to have in the guidance document, okay? Questions, and just remember you guys are putting the, whole, the questions in and then also the possible responses. So again, somebody coming to this can actually see it. Um, that, was it a yes, no thing? Was it a likely, very likely, you know, that kind of an option? Okay. Okay, cool. Other feedback for these guys? Oops, there we go. All right, Invasi invasions. Ooh, what's the picture gonna be? Drum roll, linefish. Sweet linefish, okay. Um, uh, okay, anytime you guys reference an organism, that's totally cool. You should use the full name and the Latin name, or excuse me, the common name and the Latin name. So uh, if you're talking about lionfish as a group, as a family, you could talk about lionfish. But if you're talking about, if, I wouldn't say just a lionfish, I would say, you know, uh, Indo-Pacific lionfish, parentheses, I can't remember the species off the top of my head, but you, know, you put the species name in there, right? So we want to be as precise as possible when we say things. Again, we don't want to say California has a large economy, like our last example, we want to say California is the fifth largest economy, right? So never we can want to be as specific as possible. Not that there were high winds, but the winds were 117 miles per hour, right? So, be, so that specificity goes, pairs with that well-referenced thing to show that you really understand the situation. You're not pulling out of your ass, right? You're not, you're not just sort of saying something off the top of your head, but you actually know the situation and you can quantify it and you can, you can cite the, the experts or the evidence for that, that thing. Specificity, detail, uh, evidence. Feedback for these guys? Why don't you guys stare at this paragraph, or a couple paragraphs and give these guys some feedback. No okay, no references, good. I'm sorry, okay, no hyperlinks, so same thing, but right, okay, good. Gotta add those in, cool. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, you guys don't have, this is, a, this is a disagreement among experts. So I'll just tell you my thing, because you might, might see this on one of my quizzes and then say, you misspelled it. Southern California isn't necessarily capital S. So most of the hardcore grammar people would say it's lowercase s. It's North Carolina, which is a proper noun, that's capital N. Northern North Carolina, the northern is lowercase n. Even though we oftentimes, <laughs> Jeez. So the problem with dynamic evidence. So you know, we often we write capital S, lowercase o, capital C, lowercase a, l for SoCal. That's a convention, that's fine. But, um, but uh, yeah, I, so, so I just say people disagree what I just told you. People, dis even though that's the official thing, it's evolving and people are moving to using capital S. So I won't mark you wrong if you use capital S, but just since it was sitting up there, I thought I would point that out. Other feedback for these guys now that you had a chance to read it? Sound good, sound bad? Need more detail? No more detail? On the right path. On the right path. <laughs> Young Jedi. <laughs> On the right path. Okay, oh also, let me just note that, okay, so here's, so this right here 
is a question. I want a hypothesis, right? So a hypothesis should be a statement, so a falsifiable statement. So people are concerned about invasive species on the California coast, right? That's the form I wanted it. Make sense? Yes, no, hello? Nobody's paying attention to me? They're all looking at their screens? Yeah, it makes sense? Okay, so statements. Uh, boom statement. Number next one, boom statement. Number nine, boom statement, right? So make it ideally succinct and, and, a, and a clearly falsifiable thing. Obviously, you can go into more detail in your analysis. You can see, oh, what, this, uh, what about this variant and this variant and that variant? But the, the core basic hypothesis should be a, a simple statement. Results, XXX, here's some graphs. Uh, so again, I strongly encourage you guys to do Plotly, not the lame Excel. And you want standard deviation? Yes, I want error bars whenever that is appropriate. And as we discussed, you guys can get, at least you can get error from the, the questions that, that we know are false, right? Which were around 3%, 5%, et cetera. So I would strongly encourage you, in that case, that standard deviation is what I, what the default, uh, well, I mean, actually you can do whatever you want, but, but um, yes, you should have some measure of error here. So we wanna know, is it likely that 48% is different from 37% or is, the no, is there so much noise that, we, that that's basically most likely to be not statistically significantly different from one another? It'd be great if you guys wanna do your own hypothesis testing, but given the limited amount of time, We've not gone over that particular method for these, with, which it would be a thing called logistic regression. But, but uh, you're welcome to do hypothesis testing, but at a minimum you should have some measure, always a measure of the central tendency, or the signal if you will, and a measure of the noise around that signal. Always, whenever you guys give me uh, data. Cool? All right, what else we got going on here? We got... Our natural hazards people. Who's that? Zach, Matt, Marcus. There is a, what is that, a car in the surf? That's cool. That looks to be a hazard to me. Um, okay, cool. Um, have a gander at that and tell me what you guys think about their intro paragraphs. Okay, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think proactive is one word. I think it's proactive like that. Let me just fix that for you guys because I'm so helpful to you. You're welcome. Proceed, misspelled, it looks like. What do you guys think? Yay, nay? About the right level? More detail? You are an expert. You guys are all experts. You guys have spent a lot of time on this poll. You guys have thought about this. You guys are all experts. So you are the person to judge, Mr. Feeney. Number next. Give you guys some feedback. What do you guys are like? Okay. I see how this is going. I see how this is going. Make sure you know how to spell. Nice. Yes. Getting good. Getting good. People getting cranky. I like it. That's good. It's good. It's good. All right. All right. A few questions. Okay. I don't see any graphs yet. Okay. Oil team. Cassie. Wait. Did we just do that? They're not, wait, you're on two different teams? Mm -hmm. no. Weren't you on the previous team? Uh, yeah. Did we already look at it? No, you looked at the, the draft. Oh, you have two drafts in there. Oh, I see. Oh, look at this. We can see progression. Just from the last few minutes of giving our expert advice, look what's happened. It's evolved tremendously. Yes, what's the critique? Oh, snap. You should probably fix that. 
<laughs> that sounds more like a group dynamic problem <laughs> that you guys should work on. But okay, so so again, okay, so for here, uh, when was this when was this BBC story written? Okay, so let's just let's just have a look right here, real quick. This will probably be helpful to everybody. Okay, so the author of this is not BBC. The author of this is Black, right? It's Dr. Brian C. Black. <laughs> so the so the and then what year is this thing published? Oh, wait, wait, is this the right one? I don't know which one you guys are looking at. Is it this story that you're looking at? Okay, so it's in your group, so it's you guys are responsible for it. So, so I, would, I would search for the year here, whatever this publication is, usually at the very top or at the very bottom. So it's at least after 2012, we know that. Um, uh, I have to look at it, but, um, but it sh the answer of this is, is Black 2016, right? The publication is the, is the BBC. BBC is not the author. So it's black 2017 or black 2016 or whatever the case may be, right? Um, if, if this was completely anonymous and we couldn't tell, so we knew it was BBC, but there was no attribution of who authored it or whatever, you could, you could write anonymous or unknown, right? If it was the editorial board of the BBC doing an editorial, Right, where they intentionally don't put their name, it's not anonymous, that would, that would be um, you know, BBC editorial board, basically, would be the author of that. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Yes. All right, cool. Uh, now, where the heck were we? Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Ch check out their overview of current situation. Could be. So that's a good suggestion you guys can make. Maybe you guys should try it as a paragraph. Maybe it works better as bullet. Maybe it doesn't. You guys are welcome to use bullets or, or, or that type of formatting, but I would, I would experiment with both ways. I wouldn't just do one. I would try it out and see if it works better at like A or better like B. But given that it's an open, as long as you guys have those key headings that are in there about like introduction and results and stuff, the rest of it can be uh, formatted as you believe is most efficacious to make your point. Uh, here's a common one you guys get wrong. It's blah, 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 operations, Lily 2013, period. So it's not period and then the reference after it. The period is the last, or excuse me, the reference is the last component of the sentence. Any other feedback? Okay. All right. Who we got next? Next we have uh, template, then we have sea seafood and fisheries folks. Look at that, hardy folks pulling in large netfuls of fish. Uh, okay, cool, so, so here's a good one. So if you guys, I'm assuming you guys did not take this photo. So it should be commercial fishing in Alaska, period. Image, colon, whatever, LA Times, uh, you know, whoever the source of the image is, unless it was completely um, creative Commons, when you can just do whatever you want, or if one of you guys took it. So, um, so if you don't know who it is, you can say image from unknown and put the website that you got it from. That's okay too. Point is, we want to reference where everything comes from. Again, if you if you guys don't reference something, you're saying that you did it, uh, or that that it was your your observation kind of thing. Okay, have a look at their inter Let's see. Have a look at their introduction and see what you guys think. Cool. You're saying they're benefiting from going uh, like seventh or something? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, there you go. So, okay, remember, uh, we never start a sentence with a number. So even though if it was in the middle of a sentence, you could say the number three point, the number two billion. If it's the start of a sentence, it has to be spelled that T-H-R-E-E, -E, for example. Um, this guy shouldn't be Fisheries of the United States. It should be whoever the author is, 2017. 
So it's always author year, author year, author year. Anybody else? The health of the world's fisheries have been a growing concern as stressors such as overharvesting, marine traffic, and ocean acidification and disrupted sediment, disrupted sediment settlement. Wow, that's hard to say a lot. Uh, are amplified by human actions and affect fish populations. Okay, good. Uh, uh, probably want affect here. And what I would do is for each of these, I mean, that's, that is a lot in the sentence, but that's not necessarily bad. But so the health of the world fisheries has been a growing concern as, uh, as stressors, such as over harvesting reference, marine traffic reference, ocean acidification reference, right, like that. Make sense? That's what we're trying to build. Here's my statement. Awesome. Show me that that's really real. Again, we should be, you should be looking at this with a skeptical eye. Our president talks a lot about fake news and things, right? So what if that, a person like that was looking at this and said, I don't believe that, uh, that marine traffic is a problem, right? Use that. That's a good, that's a good rule uh, uh, yardstick, right? To say, oh, maybe somebody doesn't believe there's such a thing as ocean acidification. Here's a reference that shows it's a problem. Somebody doesn't believe in overharvesting. Here's a reference that shows it's a problem, right? Cool. Other feedback? Um, generally speaking, when somebody says something like it's worth um, uh, a certain amount of dollar value, good to put the year that it's in what year dollars, because right, we have inflation and things like that. So that's one that's not totally obvious, but since some of you guys might be looking at old references or old studies, make sure you say in 2012 dollars, in 1999 dollars, or something like that. Cool. Other feedback for these guys? So again, this isn't bad, but I'm always a little bit cautious when you guys start recycling references. So does that mean you shouldn't? No, but are there additional ones you can add in there for this point and this point and that point? Okay, cool. All right, all right. Uh, last one is our pollution people. What's up, yeah. pollution people? Oh, yeah, pollution people. Oh, I skipped yours? Okay, well, let's we'll go back. I'm we'll oh, sorry, sorry, I apologize. We'll go back. All right, we'll go back. We'll go back. I apologize. Uh, so, piece of coast has been filled. With, okay, do, 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 so there we go. History in bullet form. That's not good. You guys should have paragraphs. Okay, just to, just to be clear, when I say drafts for you guys, that doesn't mean drafts, partial drafts. That means a complete draft. It just means it's not, you're not, it's not the final version. You're going to edit it. But when I, when, we, when I ask for things, hey, turn a draft of this thing in, turn a draft of that thing in, it's, it's a complete draft. So everything should be, you guys should work on getting it done. And then, so from today forward, it should be about editing, right? It shouldn't be about needing to create. The more you do that, the, the more you're going to help yourself. But... I see we have outlines. Okay. Uh, questions? So we're going to. Oh, sorry. Um, is the data in the master sheet all finalized then? Yes. 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 So I'll probably make a copy of it tonight and then just put a new link up there so that it's clear that it's a different one than one. Uh, I, I, I need to double check, look through people's stuff to do the final, final one, but it's basically done. So you guys can run your numbers now. Uh, what, what, what? Uh, do our uh, sorry, where are your hypotheses? Uh, people, you guys read this. People care and want to know how to clean up the pollution. I would say I, this is too blah, blah. So a hypothesis shouldn't be blank and blank are important unless it, you really, really are clear that both those things are important. So I would say... Um, I would say something like um, our entire coastal population um, is interested in cleaning up polluted areas, something like that. Then it's really clear, right? Because this, because maybe people care, but they don't want to know, or maybe they want to know, but they don't care, right? Which would falsify that statement. I don't think that's what you guys are asking. Second one: the public wants to clean the ocean, but don't know which management strategies to implement to 
Okay, so, so I, would, I would say the, the public is confused as to the, the correct management action. Okay. So one might be the public, are, the public is curious about pollution, coastal pollution. The next one is uh, people uh, have a poor sense of which management tools are most effective, something like that. Okay. Okay. And then I missed somebody. Wait. Wait. Natural disasters. Can I refresh my page? Can I refresh my page? Pollution. Oh, the third from the bottom first one. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Okay, so uh, global climate change is a political hot topic in recent years, reference, especially during the 2015 elections, reference, when Donald Trump called climate change a hoax, reference. Global climate change is, is a scientifically proven occurrence caused by humans, reference, although, <laughs> although, it isn't, although it is a fact that climate change exists, many still believe that it is a hoax or fake news. Uh, in this case, period would be inside the quotation mark. Uh, and you might want to have a reference for that. <laughs> we would like to gauge... I didn't, really, I didn't really use any uh, references or other, other sources until the end. Cause I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, but that, that's my, that's my, I'm just trying to give my, my, my quick definitely, feedback. I'll definitely add images and stuff. But like, it's okay, clearly I am making... Uh, Ms. Faye and nervous. So why don't you guys give her some feedback? What do you guys think about this paragraph? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you. But no, okay, what else? But, but how, about, how about overall? Like, not just qualitative. What do you guys think about? See Friday afternoon is rearing its head again in my class. Um. Uh. So, eh, is it really opinionated? I, I no. I don't. I don't think that is opinionated. So she's saying that that uh, people, a lot of people, have expressed view X. I don't think she's saying view X. But yeah. But so Matt's right in the sense that. Um, Sure, sure. It could, it could have words that might trigger uh, uh, bias, but it looks like in this case she's particularly. Yeah, listen up, you guys. I, th I think here the goal is to study bias, right? Yeah. So it's okay to to reference bias in this in this context, if that makes sense. But Matt's right. We should be we should make sure we're checking ourselves. And again, that's one of the reasons why I say reference, reference, reference. So then it's not opinion, right? It's you interpreting the work of others. Yeah? Okay. Uh, what else? Give, give her some more feedback, you guys. She's by herself. I would say I would say number f two and three look pretty similar to each other. I'm thinking of putting because I didn't actually do the, the data um, for the, um, the I did the President Trump one. I didn't do the um, the. Well, that's okay. But I still say that even so, I would say that uh, testing it with people's support for a conservative president is one way to test if conservative views are. Of people that self-identify as conservatives, so that, that, that's okay. I just say they look very similar, so I would, I would just merge them, um, regardless of how you test them or not test them. And then it, it's not people will have a higher education level. You talk about uh, educational attainment is the way you say that in a, in a less offensive way. Um, um, yeah, okay. Anybody else feedback?
Yep, yeah, so some measure of, of error here. So one thing I would suggest you guys consider is, uh, uh, wait a second, approve of yes? So oh, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. Right. So one suggestion is to be consistent with your guys formatting. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So this doesn't always work. But where it does work, it's I strongly suggest you do this. So if yes is yes and no, maybe we're gonna make yes a solid color, no a hollow color, let's say. Let's maybe be consistent up here with yes being a solid, no being, you know, a outline of a color or yes being blue and you know shades of blue and so so I would I would work to see if we could make the color scheme consistent. All right, we haven't I haven't given you guys a talk on color theory and graphs and stuff, but but the point is at least at least make it um, easy for someone skimming through. Again, we're trying to be rigorous and all that good stuff, but we're also trying to not hide our hide our information. So as much as we can make it conspicuous to folks observing it, the bet the much we can do it, the better. The more we can do it, the better. <coughs> Cool. And again, best to embed these guys as um, uh, as a hyper as not a hyperlink. Excuse me, as a as a dynamic graph. Cool. Is there any other group I skipped? Which, which one are you guys? Okay, let me see. Habitat. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Cool. All right. This is the last one. Is anybody else that I skipped? Okay, cool. All right. Ooh, there's a cool habitat loss. I'm a scientist, so when I find like dead roadkill, I'm like, ooh, cool. It's, it's sort of a disturbing thing that, that I like stuff like this, but. Um, I should say fascinating instead of cool, I guess I should say. Okay, uh, intro, super short intro, two sentences, probably don't want to be longer. The most damaging form of habitat destruction is caused by humans. I would say probably all habitat destruction is caused by humans. I would say, I, would say, I mean, that, that maybe is, is a semantic thing, but I would say when a when an elephant goes through a forest, I guess that's habitat destruction, but we generally don't think of it that way. Generally speaking, we define habitat destruction as stuff that humans have caused. But, um, but that maybe is... Fair point, fair point. I would say yes, probably. And just making sure when you guys are when you guys are uh, putting this in your um, in your uh, references, make sure that it's it this should be properly um, listed under C. So if it's the Nature Conservancy 2012, it should be listed under C, just like it was Sean Anderson. It's not it's not T. It's not the. Or I guess technically it'd be N, excuse me, it should be N under N nature. T is not the way it's alphabetically listed, even though you might say the in, in the name. Uh, again, this issue with using the same, same reference again, is that wrong? Not technically, but you guys could probably do better. You guys could probably add an additional reference, add a couple more references to make that even stronger. And so remember, it's do you know of a wetland? And then, and then give people the option as well. They could say yes, no, or unsure. 